Right, I'm going to give a quick demo here of actually working with a sheet metal part from Solid Edge and doing some mid surfacing work in FEMAP. Um, they basically open up this uh, Solid Edge sample file we've had sitting around for a while. Just a nice little uh, sheet metal part. And in Solid Edge, as long as you uh, register uh, the add in when you install FEMAP, there's a button in here you can press. It will basically fire up FEMAP and transfer uh, the geometry automatically. So now I'm sitting over here and I have my uh, same geometry in FEMAP. Uh, there's a great uh, mid-surfacing tool in FEMAP, something that's truly sheet metal and, and anything you create in solid edge sheet metal obviously is. I can do a geometry mid-surface and we call it offset tangent surfaces. And basically what this does is, is walks any connected surfaces to the one you pick that are tangent and puts them all together and there's a tolerance on the tangency. We'll just take the default, but it finds pretty much the inside or the outside of the part uh, depending on you know, if you pick an inside or outside face it figures out an offset distance and then it basically just moves that in and deletes the original solids now I've got a single uh, piece in FEMAP that is a mid-surface um, we can also take uh, it remembers the thicknesses I can assign these as properties to the surfaces and it wants a material, and uh, let me just pop in the library here and grab an SI material because this thing is in meters. So let's just make this guy out of, um, just pick an aluminum here is fine. We'll say OK. And just say some OKs there, take the default. Then what FEMAP does there is it creates a property uh, at the thickness, which is 0 0.004 meters, or I guess 4 millimeters there. Uh, so now we're pretty much ready to go. So I can just say, um, I can set some mesh sizing. Just select all the surfaces and let's, uh, the default there, it looks like about five millimeters. Let's, let's match the thickness. That'll at least give a nice mesh. Uh, and then we can just mesh geometry surface. Select all. Uh, it's going to use the property that was predefined. And then it's going to throw a mesh on this. The hardest surface to mesh is the one that's shooting around all these holes and stuff. So that's probably the one that takes the longest. The rest of them are probably almost instantaneous. And then what we'll do is go ahead and um, let's just throw some constraints on this and make sure we get a decent model. Uh, what we'll do is I think we'll just grab a couple of these holes and constrain it, then just run a modal run just to make sure everything's connected. All right, here's the mesh. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, actually, looks pretty good. What I'll do now is just quickly this button here on the visibility toolbar. I can just turn off all geometry. Uh, here, I can turn off the nodes and get this down to just elements. And let's come in here and just do some uh, constraining. So let's go over to the constraint on the toolbar and say uh, new set. This will be just a uh, constraint set. And I gave it the name new. And I just want to create on some curves. Let's just grab a couple curves here, pick a couple locations, and I'm going to say fix these guys. And Obviously there's all types of constraints we can do. We can put a more rigid spider in there and pin it and so it, it spins about that point. Uh, this just kind of kind of sock it down for this test run. Uh, we've got it constrained uh, under the analysis or analyses. I'll create a new uh, empty or a new uh, modal run. FEMAP will fill in a bunch of defaults here. It's going to grab that constraint. It's going to ask for 10 modes, so I don't have to worry about some of that stuff. I'll say done here. Let's just go ahead and save this. Uh, I had a little working directory I just started for this video, so I'll put it down there. Just call it Solid Edge to FEMAP. Save the model. Uh, I can press the Analyze button. It'll just run that set we just created. Uh, here's Nastran uh, running. Well, it's already done. Uh, so now I can just pop in my model info tree here and under results, let's just uh, pull up mode one and say animate and it'll show it shaking away there and in my post processing toolbar if I want to smooth that out a little bit I will say let's go 12 frames, just double click and let it run again and that'll smooth it out. So there's mode one, mode two, should get some, yep mode three, nice. And let's get, go to one of the higher modes, it'll get really crazy. But should be pretty easy to take uh, sheet metal geometry from FEMAP and get it over, or from Edge and get it over to FEMAP.